I went and got some Pavi Miller and some tape. Um, usually, I would order it off mine, but I'm just going to grab the piece for now. It's cheaper to order it offline. So, yeah. Excuse my shirt. The lady put wax on my shirt and she's arching my eyebrows. But, yeah, so I'm about to go mail off one more thing. And I'm going to plan a time and day when I'm going to um, go do inventory for the beauty section on my website because it's completely empty. Nothing is on there. So, yeah. You all stay tuned. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stuff this envelope with some tissue paper. I put the stuff inside already. And I'm gonna drop it off at the post office, guys. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's so much better when you get to um when you have when you have your shipping labels already. It's so much easier. Life is so much easier when you have your own shipping labels and your own mailers. That's tip number one for today. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So, oh, I just hate that that stuff got on my shirt. All right. So, I'm almost at the post office. And I'm going to mail off this package. It feel kind of I'm dropping the camera. It feel kind of start like, you know, weighty. There's only one item. I mail off this package. And I'm going home and going to sleep. But first, I'm going to mail the package, though, for real. And then I'm going to do a um, sit-down talk, give some tips and stuff. And then i go to sleep. So, yeah. Stay tuned. My shirt, I hate that on my shirt. I just can't stand it. I'm almost at the post office right now. I am so tired. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. But I am. All right, I'm going to go in the post office, y'all. So, deuces. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. And I'm trying to do uh, some layouts. So, here is a layout right here. I'm trying to be a little creative. I feel like I should add a little bit more something to it. I just don't know what. But if you all like this outfit, this um, swimwear outfit, let me know. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you have any suggestions about any really cool layouts. And what you all think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what else I can add to it. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Wish I had like some flowers or something. <coughs> I figured out. But yeah, I just want to show you all my layout that I'm doing right now. And I'm going to post it. Alright, stay tuned. All right, so hey, my YouTube besties, I'm back finishing up the vlog for today, and I want the you all to show, I want to show you all my merch. I got my little cup for inspiration. I'm gonna sit it on my desk, OceanView17.com, and I got a car magnet for my car. I'm gonna go wash my car tomorrow and put it on there. To advertise marketing is everything guys it says be you be trendy online fashion store I'm actually gonna order another one so I can have um, a magnet on both sides of the car and I kind of changed my hair up from earlier and I have a bag where's my bag oh here's my bag this is like my business bag you know business trips or just like if I need some extra bags when I go um, out of town or do like different stuff. Me and my family do a lot of stuff and I could be advertising. So right now I got like all my shipping material in this bag right now. But um, I have like a seminar I'm going to um, on the 25th of this month and I'm going to bring it with me and have all my little party stuff on there. And yeah, so as you all see behind me right here, that is a board, a erase board I use to write down um, my goals. It's like my hair already frizzing up, whatever. My goals um, uh, for that day 
and then at the bottom I usually have like my long term goals for that week, that month, that year, and then at the very bottom I have like stuff like inspirational stuff like stay focused, support others, stuff like that, you know. So, um I wanted to talk to you all about like um <clears throat> different things that you need to start your business. This is part two. Um, as you all seen earlier today, I was doing shipment and I was getting a little bit of supplies for a shipment and I would, I just received some inventory. So, um, step one, write out your goal and make it plain. Write out your goal, stick to your goal, figure out what is, what would be your niche. Like I really, really advise everyone to, um, Definitely sell something that you're going to enjoy selling because if you're going to be selling lawnmowers, but you're into socks You're not going to enjoy selling lawnmowers, you know, so I make sure the baby okay, so make sure you're um, Make sure you write down a, pl a plan and make it plain and, and really really strategize about your plan it really strategize about what's your niche and that goes into number two number two is find your niche so write down your plan um along with writing down your plan find your niche um number three is really focus 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 on finding a good vendor um it's always good to have more than one vendor um and it just depends on what you're selling like me i'm selling lingerie and dresses and stuff like that so it's best for me to find a vendor or vendors where i know my shipment can get here on time to send out to my customers like you know if you're selling you know computers or cameras you know it's like more understandable if it takes more time so yeah find vendors like um pretty much that matches what you're selling because people don't want to wait you know two three weeks to get a dress people don't want to wait two three weeks to get some baby clothes especially baby clothes like babies grow fast out of their clothes especially if you get something for a baby that's like three to six months you know so um but a camera a laptop you know a lot more just an example that stuff is a little bit more ascending if it takes a little bit longer to get to the destination so you know make sure you just scout out your vendors um if they offer samples accept the samples always ask your vendors do they do samples to see if you really like the product the material the item whatever it may be you know just really talk to these people um you can find vendors in china of course a whole lot of them and then you also have a few here in america so really you know really google really search really find your stuff it's not going to come to you easy and you don't you shouldn't expect people who already started a business just to tell you you know oh this is what i did no you do your own work because it's a lot of work and people are not going to be sitting here like oh i tell you everything for free they ain't and even if they're gonna charge you they still beat around the bush and don't tell you everything so find your own secrets find your own methods find your own vendors you know so those are my first three and then my second one my th second <laughs> my fourth one is make sure you get a really good computer um a very durable computer so you can um be on it all the time you don't want a computer that's going to get a lot of viruses you don't want a computer that's going to break down every five seconds you want a durable computer so you can really work really really work on your um store really work on searching really work on your orders your inventory all that jazz and the face with the fifth one is extremely important last but definitely not least market 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 um i would say the first month or two market and pay marketing on facebook instagram you know the first month or two but after you pretty much got your name out there you done got some followers you got some likes on your pages on your facebook and instagram twitter whatever after you done market and paid social media to market you will start getting traffic 
already naturally so you wouldn't have to pay as much then after that first month or two that you paid to market just go ahead and um just continue to post on all your social medias and um engage with you know your your followers your your um, subscribers whatever it may be and just engage with them as much as you can make um business cards that's a really great way flyers like you seen how i had the mug the purse and the um magnet for the car if you could get a magnet for your car you drive everywhere people would just see you know what i'm saying if people would just see a sign on the car they're gonna want to google it like what is this you know so make sure you get those make sure you market and make sure you always keep some business cards with you um some flyers with you it's gonna get to the point where you won't have to pay for marketing as much so that is a great thing and on your business cards because what i didn't do for my business cards is i didn't put my social medias on there and i forgot to do that i hate that i forgot to do that let me see if i can show you all my business cards real quick here they go and they have like a pearl shimmer to them you could tell i like shimmer and here's the back of it and i got the website and i got the name i got you know some sayings on there but i forgot to put my social medias on there i was like dang it so the social medias next for sure next set of cards gonna be on there i got my instagram ocean view 17 clothing i got my facebook ocean view 17 and of course you all i got my youtube which is jazzy pretty love and i'm talking about my businesses and that's that see how i just mark it and it's all going to be down below. Check out my website, OceanView17.com. I actually wanted to show you all my website while we were just sitting here talking. And I should have had my computer on already. And I just want to show you all <clears throat> how it is and all that great stuff. And another thing, this is an extra little tip. Along with make sure you put your social media on your business cards. So I give you two bonus tips. Look at that. Bow. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was <laughs> but so like the other thing I would suggest is to um <sighs> Lord Jesus I'm forgetting everything y'all what was I saying <laughs> okay so card social media on your cards got it yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. It's late. <laughs> that, should, that should entertain y'all for a minute. <laughs> okay. So, the other thing is don't expect to just be booming. Don't expect. This is more ev advice than tips. This is more of a enlightening to let you know. Don't expect to just be booming. Your business is going to be just booming, you know, the first week, the first day, the first month. Sometimes, you know, you can be blessed enough, especially if you already have a big following. You can be blessed enough for that to happen. But people are going to buy. If you sit there and you do the work, if you promote, you're going to get some buyers. Okay. You might not get as many as you want, but you're going to get some. If you can go two months and you get at least 10 buyers, that's great. Okay? All right. Sorry, y'all. I had to stop the video to tend to my child. Okay. Anyway, so, um, yeah, if you get, like, at least 10 sales the first two months, that's good. You know? Now, if you're going two, three months and you ain't getting jack diddly squat, then give up. <laughs> But if you getting some type of sales and some type of reactions out of people, don't give up. Just keep going. You know what I'm saying? And also, your supporters are going to be people you don't know. Okay? It's not going to be just, oh, my family, my the neighbor down the street, my cousin in Oklahoma, <laughs> you know, gonna, you know, going to support me. They're going to buy. That be the least people. Okay? It only be like one or two people in your family that will buy. So, or friends, family and friends. I say it like that. So, yeah. Just want to keep it real with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all have some interesting stuff. Make sure your your um, website looked apart, too. And the website thing, that's a whole other journey. You're going to have to just learn that. Trying to figure out how to set up the website, how to fix it. Who should you get to help you fix it? You know, it's just, it's just crazy. 
so let me go ahead and show you all my website really quick i specialize in or my niche is lingerie swimwear and like really nice cute little um chains or necklaces that say inspirational stuff or cute little hearts you know stuff like that so that's like my niche right there so i'm gonna show you all really quick how it is i'm just trying to sign in really quick because i should have had it on there already oh sorry y'all <clears throat> just a minute I hear my daughter back there up in her tap dance shoes. She got her tap dance shoes on running around the house. It's late too, y'all. It's like 11 something at night. She needs to go to bed. Okay, I'm just signing in, y'all. Give me a minute. <coughs> Thank you for being patient. Yeah. If you ain't patient, you can go. <laughs> I hope you know. <laughs> no, I love y'all, though. Especially the ones that been down from the beginning, like when I used to run about being a CNA and stuff. Yeah, the real ones. Okay, it's logging in. Hold on, it's almost there. There we go. Okay, let me take you all to let me get out of my back office and take you all to my actual website. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 